Nice. Nice little spot. Oh, so oh my goodness. <laughs> See his antenna sticking out of his throat. Here it comes. He's starting to gag it up. All right, guys, welcome back to Charlotte Harbor. I'm gonna do a little bit of wade fishing today. Actually, leaving a perfectly good boat to do it. But um, I'm on an oyster bar. It's actually an island. It's got oyster bars all around it. There's multiple little islands out here, right around Gasparilla. And I see a lot of mullet flickering around. Pretty good wind blowing. It's the top of the tide. It's gonna be high tide here in about an hour. So uh, again, there's two or three of these little islands. I'm going to wade around. Just see if I can sneak up on them a little bit better. It's still a beautiful time of year for wade fishing. The water is clear. Fish should be biting. All right, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Got three to four foot of water, grass flats all around. And then nice crunchy oystery bottom under my feet all along the mangroves. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit of flats fishing, a little bit of beating the bushes. There we go. There's a fish. Heck yeah, nice look. Sitting right up in that shadow, right up in that shade. And he's coming at me. Ooh. Nice little water movement coming here. And he was just sitting right around that, car, right in that little bend in the shade. Sweet. over there. I'll take it. Nice way to start the morning. Hey, hey, hey. Got a shrimp. He just choked down. You can see his antenna sticking out of his throat. There it comes. He's starting to gag it up. There it comes. <laughs> shrimp head poking out right there. Sorry, buddy. Look like you're already dead. Gotta get that orange tint to him. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Or maybe not. There he goes, just took off. Jumped out of my hands. All right, let's get another one. Same spot. Now if you're waiting back here, be careful. Boats come flying around the corner out of nowhere. There you go. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, spin it. Little fish. Not normal. He about re hugged that weedless for me. Alright, little snook stuck up there in that um, little cove there. The cove goes in there pretty deep. You got me a redfish back there. You got that a little creek mouth up here, really small creek mouth has kind of lured me way down this line off of my plan of just circling that island. So let's see here if it'll pay off. Hmm. 
Maybe this is a creek mouth altogether itself here. Let's see how far back this goes. There we go. Oh, he's back. He's back in the bushes. Wait. Take this drag. It's just that big. There we go. He's out now. Sweet. I don't know if this is a little creek or what we've got going on back here, but we're going to go back and find out. See if there's any more fish back there. Yeah, it goes back quite a bit. Nice. Nice little snook. A little smaller than the last guy, but I'll take it. Put them upside down, they'll chill right out for you. Alright, buddy. Let's see if there's anything else back there. Better check my line. Kind of got me in the bushes for a minute there. Alright, we're back in business. Let's head up this creek. The wind is really picking up. And the harder it blows, the more I like what I'm doing. Just hanging in tight to these mangroves. Not far from home at all. Out of the wind. Nice deep water through this creek. This nice, nice little spot. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Scared me too. Whew. Man, that was a that was a stud snook pushing 40 easy not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that on the camera probably not i just saw a weight getting thrown coming down here and i'm like man that's a big critter coming at me and he, he hit these mangroves and then cut in front of me and as soon as he got near me then he finally realized i was here took off hard right there and spooked a full-grown mullet to jump let me show you that again one more time Big snook. Dang it. That last cast should have been more like that, right along the shoreline, and we might have had a chance at hooking him. I don't know if we'd have got him out of here, though. Well, that was the last game fish I saw. I waded all the way to the, basically to the end of the creek, where it started to get quite a bit deeper, actually, and muddier. Started seeing lots of other stuff, catfish, and there was definitely some mullet and a few stingrays, but like I said, no more snook, no reds, so I turned around and marched out. There's fish on me. Huh. I feel like it was another one of those barracuda, and the steady retrieve hasn't got him. They've been just following it, so I gave it a, just a little twitch, and he got scared. That one came right at me. Zip right over my head. Last thing I want to do is impale my face. Wow, is it beautiful out here. That big jet taking off in the distance. Oh, little trout. Caught me when I wasn't looking. Big jet taking off. Not a big jet, I should say small private jet taking off from the Casita Airport. Beautiful flat. Mullet flickering. 
Oh man. Couple mullet just making a mad dash for their life right here. Hope it wasn't something too big chasing them. Oh, there they are. Jack. Jack. Why did they hit that? Whole school of Jack following me. Come on. Can't believe it. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. There's some Jack right on me. Let's see if I can get fired up here on the top water. Huh. Jack usually ain't that picky. All right, let's hop in the boat and run over to another spot. Two more barracudas, nice sized ones this time. Follow me up, none of them have hit it though. The water's too clear. They know it's not real. Y'all catch anything? Uh, we got some snook back there. Yeah. And a couple trout. Nice. I got two snook. Where'd you get them? Mostly at the mouth there? Mostly up there in the mouth of the creek? Yeah, down the right side. Yeah, that beat cut, yeah. Right, yeah. A couple of big fish right in front of me. Just strolling along. I'm heading to a grass flat. See if I get to some trout, but got some serious bait getting blown up right here. There's a trout under there. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice trout. Nice trout. He'd have been the keeper. I was keeping him. Smelling breath there. Smell like a fish. Pretty little trout. Let me get him right back. Right back. See if we can get another one. Fish are blowing up. There we go. There we go. Just slowing it down and letting it get down into the grass. Another decent trout. Not that big, but another little trout. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Just look at all them. Big bait. Big five inch bait. Pilchards or white baits, whatever they are. able to get a very good clip of the bait underwater but just listen to them scattering across the top all right well before i head home what i think i'm going to do is just troll around the outside of this i mean this all this flat right where it goes from about eight nine feet deep up to four five six feet all where the grass flat starts this is just bait 
for as long as I can see. I mean, it's just everywhere. So I'm gonna troll along the outside where it's deeper. Cannonball, pelican. I'm gonna troll the outside of the of, of where all this bait is and just see if I can run into them jack or you know, something else. Not even gonna switch it up. I'm just gonna go with what I've been using all day. Little swim bait, little paddle tail. You know what? I'm gonna keep you for bait. It's getting to be cut bait fishing time, so. Actually, I'm gonna let him go. Change my mind. I'll get fresh bait when I need it. something big I will let you know but if that doesn't happen I uh, appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next video can't see him. You got to come out here to see the real cool stuff. There he goes. All right. Well, now that my lines are thoroughly tangled, I will see you guys later.